Hey guys, back again, another fat date, and this time around we have 2006 Maserati Grand Sport. A uh, customer brought it in with issues with the audio system, obviously, uh, and he's very pedantic about his car, which is fair enough. It's a very, very nice car. So the factory amplifier we have diagnosed is de eh, de. We've sourced another amplifier, but it's gonna look at about $3,000 to replace the factory amplifier, and we're looking at a minimum of four to five month wait period for it to come from Italy, of course. Murphy's Law. So, we came up with a solution. We thought we'd get a bit tricky and upgrade. So, OEM plus, 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 plus. Obviously, that amplifier was not gonna work. What solution can we come up with that's gonna fix the problem and make it work? Well, we get our hands on some very, very, small footprint amplifiers. So, being the case, the factory amplifier isn't exactly small itself. Smallish, but not little compared to some of the stuff we can get. We had the idea. Well, what if the factory amplifier looked and worked exactly like a factory amplifier, but internally was not a factory amplifier? Mm-hmm. So, in comes the Match M5 DSP. Now this is an extremely cool little bit of kit. That's him. And that's it. Not much to it. And that is a five channel amplifier. So I'll throw some specs just up on the screen. You can have a look. They actually do have some pretty reasonable power for the physical size that they are, but the big bonus that you've got as well is it's not just an amp. It is a seven channel DSP as well with a line output. So obviously all five internal channels are controlled by the DSP. Also on top of that, that means that you can then output to a sub amp and it's a complete system ready to go. So even if that fifth channel doesn't have enough power, which from memory, I think it was about 160 watts, um, you can then just put a second two channel or a mono or whatever it might be and juice that sub up. That's a pretty cool thing. Now we know what an M5 is and we know where we're going with this thing. I'll show you what's happening. First I'll run through exactly what I was doing. So you can see I've made an aluminium plate up and I've then got my mounting sorted out and got the metal plate to slot in where the factory circuit board slotted into the amplifier. Uh, then from there, I move along uh, and I wanna keep the factory plug because I wanna make this as a factory fit. So of course, if that means that this amplifier got pulled out of this car, went to another Maserati, it could literally plug straight into the factory harness and would just work. Now there's another little bonus we've got here as well, is the fact that that amplifier, because it's DSP amplifier, I can plug my laptop in, I can give it a proper tune, I can save our tune file, and then if again, if anyone else wants to do another Maserati where they've got a faulty amplifier, which is very highly possible, we'll have it all here ready to go, so the next one can just work. So that's a really big win. The next thing is obviously my wiring gone through, got all the wiring pinned out so that it actually works straight into that factory plug and bang. Moment of truth, I've got it wired. Obviously factory plug, plugged straight in. Now I will go and turn the car on and uh, see what happens. Woohoo, that's a light. That's a good sign. Oh, I hear some noise. Hey! Awesome! Woohoo! Alright, so I'm at the next point. I can start putting the amplifier back together, get that all um, mounted internally and sorted out, and then I can uh, jump in with the laptop and give it a tune. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's plug it in. So, here it is. All done, all finished. Well, I mean, it's upside down, but you get the point. So obviously I wired directly into that um, factory plug. So of course it means that we go in the car, take our factory amplifier plug and done, it works. So that is almost there. So I'm actually at the point now where I can um, get this finished up, plug in the laptop, do a bit of a tune on it. Um, then I can pull the battery back out and get this thing tucked away and um, give it back to the customer. I really like this. This is very cool. Alright, let's 
do some tuning. That is actually nowhere near as bad as I would have expected. Right, let's make it a bit better. That's not a bad looking graph for stock speakers. <laughs> Considering all stock speakers, um, that's pretty freaking impressive. God, I love it stuff. Or should I say, all this AF stuff. Absolutely mint. All right, Let's see what it sounds like. That's wrong. That's just wrong. There we have it guys. That is an absolute freaking win. I, I actually am super impressed how this came up and uh, it sounds so much better. Well, obviously the amp didn't work before, but I can safely guarantee this sounds a hell of a lot better than what this factory system was supposed to. I'm really impressed. If there's anyone out there that's got one of these Maseratis, got a dead amp, contact details are down in the description. Just make sure you send us a message and we can get one sorted out. Impressive. I'm actually super surprised. I reckon this customer is gonna be blown away. So that is a win. So thanks guys, like, subscribe, new video coming soon, so see ya. Then from there, <laughs>